There's this girl that I like. Uh huh. I think she's pretty cute. She uh, she's in the anime, so she kind of got me watching it. Nice. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. That's always how it starts. Well, so she's yeah. there when you watch it. Usually? No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. I'm watching it by myself. You can uh, get a bunch of. No, look, look, look. This part right here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a very important episode of Careful Boys. We got right here Mr. Anthony, oh. Joe Jitsukawa over there in the special side. We got Nick the Ear. We got Colleen. And we have Cam. Cam, special guest Cam. Hey, not Cam. that special. Let's fuck you. Yeah, Cam. you are. <laughs> God damn. And we got the coolest Joe around. Hey. Thank We're you for being here with us. It escalates. <laughs> We always get asked this question, and, uh, um, and a lot of you guys have sent it in the DMs over and over, and I thought, why not answer it today? You've asked us, what are our favorite animes? Definitely. Ryan Ame. Oh, you thank you. Because you are anime yeah, lover. Dude, my actual anime that I love are all from uh, the 80s and 90s. You're yeah. fucking yeah. old. Yeah, why do you like the classic <laughs> stuff? I Showing your age. This is crazy, but I, I never saw Dragon Ball Z because I didn't have cable. What? Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't watch it. Until, I didn't watch it. And it, when they did show it, it was on Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. So we were at church. You can't you watch like TV on Saturdays. Uh, I'm sorry. But I like church on Sundays. Oh, so, yeah. yeah really <laughs> so you watch X-Men too, huh? Well. Yeah. Damn. Dude. Can I guess which yeah, ones guess, you watch? Yes. Is it Cowboy Bebop? No. Is That's it a good one. Neon? Uh, Genesis, Genesis Evangelion? No. Yeah, what? I feel like you got to think did you watch? Did you watch uh, Yu Yu Hakusho? I know about it because they had a game, Yu Yu Hakusho, yeah. So I know about the... Are we talking about series here? Or yeah, series you, or like movies. Do you, do you, do you consider series. Miyazaki yeah, movies yeah. anime anime? You know what's funny? I, I do now. I did it back then. Like, I, I consider that like the Disney movies of like yeah that is yeah, the Disney yeah, movies yeah. even though it's like it's some of the Pixar. ghost shit. But my favorite ones is, in terms of series, I really love Maison Ikoku, uh, Ranma, Ranma Half, and then also uh, but movies Wicked City, Demon City. Another series I like is Record of Lotus War. That's a that's mm. a really that's almost like watching Lord of the Rings like a decade earlier, mm. but in anime form. What oh, about beautiful. Ninja Scroll? Oh yeah, that's a. Uh, what about Fist of the North Star? Hell yeah! See, I remember that. I never watched all. That's brilliant too. Dude, but yeah, Ninja amazing. Scroll definitely was like that was a big sure. thing, mm -hmm. for sure. Did it make you I want to like be Ninja? Ninja? <laughs> Ninja Scroll was crazy, dude. <laughs> what did you want to be? He wanted to be sure. Kinja. Sure. Uh, you guys have all seen Ninja, Ninja Scroll? Yeah. No. 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 no? Ninja Scroll, that's worth watching today because the artwork is, is so good. Still so good. Yeah, and it's it's pretty graphic. So it's oh, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I don't think, actually don't watch it. Yeah, already <laughs> what about Ghost in the Shell? Ghost in the Shell was okay, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, but no. Nah. Uh, Angel Cop was another really good one. That one's pretty crazy. And some of these things are also ironically good, where like as a kid you're watching it and you think the dubbing's so funny. Mm. So that's part of it. Golden Boy, another amazing anime series. Cool. Even if you watch it in English dub, it's brilliant. What's that about? Uh, it's about this guy who's like super, uh, he quit his job and all he wants to do is travel the world on his bicycle and just experience life. And he gets into these situations where it's the same formula. He meets a girl who like thinks he's repulsive, hates him, but then he does something to improve their life and he doesn't expect anything and he leaves and he just keeps going and they chase him to like, cause they're in love with him. So he has this huge trail of women that like want him and he's so unaware. <laughs> That's so funny. He's so unaware, he's That's just going bad. through life like helping people. <clears throat> and then um, by the end, he gets in this really bad jam where he's trying to help this uh, last girl out. And the only way he can do it is bring all the girls together that he helped in the past to like do this massive last favor. And and they have a massive That's orgy. So cool. but, he's all, but he's also a, he, he's also a massive pervert. Wait, do you know? When you're, you know when he you're, can never get laid. I feel like most anime his kink is, is that his kink is that he can't resist. Uh, if a girl's been on the toilet, he can't resist like licking the seat. Oh just like, my uh, god! Like, <laughs> but it's so much lighter when it's a yeah. cartoon, though, isn't it? How long ago was it? How long ago? Yeah, like uh, I believe the manga is from the 80s or or early 90s, and then the anime is from the 90s. Dude, you know what's crazy? Even today's like brand new anime, nothing has really changed. The tropes are always very similar. It's always the guy, are. girls chasing after them. They're called harems, but that's like a whole category harems. in anime. Yeah. Nasty can. What was your favorite? What's uh, your favorite hentai, Ken? <laughs> I don't have any favorites, but uh, he reads the fan fictions in the Reddit. <laughs> he likes the yayoi. 
I think the most recent one. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Shut up! Don't act. What? Oh, you're a freak. You're gonna get the Oscar. <laughs> oh. Come on. Nah, what, no is what, what is it? What is it? Look it up. Y a y o i. Okay. I'm not looking that up. I will look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah, look I it up. Easy. You fucking pussies. What is it? Is it pornography? No. What the no. heck? No. Like yayoi manga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going incognito mode on this dude. No, you don't need to do that. No one's even gonna. Know. It has multiple meanings, by the way. It's not. It's not one thing. Y a y o i. And then write uh, anime or whatever. Yeah, yeah, anime or manga afterwards. <coughs> I see this. Wait, what, 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 Yo, why is it asking? It's a. It's a genre. Oh, I see, what, I see. It's actually a very popular oh, genre no, right now. I know what it is, dude. Is, is it, it? Is it what? Is it like it has to do it, with kids? It doesn't look like anything. No. Is it gay stuff? Bro, it has to do with kids? No, I it's not kids. kids. Why is Nick's there kid stuff like, on Nick's phone? Then? I was like, what do you mean it has to do with kids? No, no. so so the it means Wait, it doesn't. It doesn't. Seem a genre mostly written by women for women yes. that depicts. Homosexual relationships yep. between men. Yep. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I was looking at the covers and they're like all men. Yeah. And like they're all like, yes. Wait, it's, yes. It's about, like, it's hard that's what I found really it. fascinating because it, it was Why really popular and idiot. it's all gay romance, but the it's written between, it's like, written from men. women. Yeah. By, for women. I thought that was crazy, yeah. but I guess it's like lesbian porn yeah. produced and directed by men. Well, it's, yeah, but, and it's right. cute. It's supposed to be like yeah. really, yeah, it's like really cute stuff, cute stories. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Makes sense. To answer your question, my favorite anime of all time is uh, Samurai Champloo. Have you seen? Oh, yeah, hell yeah! That's your favorite. I wish they expanded on it. Uh, it was in the. I think it was like early two thousands when it came out. I'm not really sure when, but it was the first anime that I saw that had hip hop in it. Oh, really? Sick, yeah. Yo, they uh, they they got feudal Japan with hip hop mixed together. It yeah. was a cool world. Yeah. Also, the artwork was so swag. Is, is that the one with the black samurai? Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. The black samurai is Yasuke. No, no, no. What well, I mean, Samurai Champloo also has the dude with the afro. With the afro, right? So that okay, I've seen Wait, it. I've never watched afro. it. There's a black dude with his. He's a samurai. No, that's Afro, afro Samurai. Oh, that's yeah, Afro Samurai. That's not samurai wow, Nick. Yeah. Different with yeah, with hip hop music. You're right. Yes, well, yes. it was a black guy. I thought it was gonna be with hip hop. You know, the different is there was no. That's gosh. your absolute all time favorite. All time favorite wow. that I've seen probably like three, four times, like the whole thing. It's only 26. Oh. What's Champloo? Are you watching Hulu? Champloo is actually a Japanese word. Champloo. No, Samurai Champloo. It's like saying um, spaghetti western. Oh. Um, yeah, because because so it means mix up. Yeah, it's like oh. they they those old school samurai um, flicks. That's what a samurai champu is. It's a really good show, though. I so like Seven Samurai would be what, like a champu. What's the uh, storyline? Like give the, the storyline story. is there's these two samurais and a girl. The girl's on a mission to find us a, a samurai that smells like sunflowers, which we don't know who he is. It's like a big mystery, but she needs the help of these two like really good samurais, and they're so. Good, that they're always fighting each other to try to kill each other, but they become friends. They all uh, become okay. friends, and it's oh, it's, a, it's right. like a whole like. Adventure. So it's like a whole okay. I got yeah, they're trying like, to find the fucking. Yeah. But wait, why yeah. did she have to find him again? I forgot. It was um, kind of I think it had to do with her childhood yeah. and like her restaurant that she was working in burned down in the first episode. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna look for this guy because she probably has no idea about her past, and she wants to know because that's the only thing that. You know, she could remember as a child, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, it's Sounds really, tight. it's really good. I forgot. I haven't watched it in ages, but yeah. have you guys watched it? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. And the two uh, personalities of the samurais are like night and day. Yeah, it's like blue versus red. Yeah, Everyone really says good. it's a really good. I've heard that from so many people. They're like, this is a really. Dope it's show. really good. I would, it's the same guy that made. Uh, Cowboy Bebop too. If you've seen oh, that, oh, one. that one's really Cowboy popular. Bebop. Work of art, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I thought I thought you were gonna say One Piece, honestly. Uh, I just started One Piece this year. Oh, you're not gonna finish it, dude. I'm at Is it really long? Two hundred. Oh wow. Six. Okay, you'll finish it. And <laughs> <laughs> you're underestimating how nerdy he is. Bro. No, there's like a thousand, and I think you could actually watch it in like less than a year and catch up. It's there's not a that thousand. Much. What? Yeah, because each episode minutes? is like twenty minutes. Oh. It's really short, oh. and there's a lot of. You gotta be yeah. dedicated as fuck. But it's formatted like. People just leave it on though, huh? While they just do stuff. Yeah. No, well, they watch really other good. anime. Yeah. Dude, there's a reason why there's a thousand episodes. It's Not really that. good. Yeah. People love One Piece, I think. Yeah, they yeah. just came out with a card game too. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing it too. Hey, what's oh, yeah. the one? I that... play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that one's good too. Yeah. I just played it the other day. That's what's, funny. What's the one that you said you were watching <laughs> right now? Uh, Inuyasha. 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 Yeah, I just started watching that. Wait, how? What made you choose Inuyasha out of everything else? 
Uh, there's she's a, a dog. There's this girl that I like. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, that she's pretty cute. And she uh, she's in the anime, so she kind of got me watching it. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. That's always how. Well, so she's yeah. there, when you, there when you watch it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. I'm watching it by myself. You can uh, get a bunch of. No, look, look, look. This part right here. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Lumi. Oh man, look at this. It smells so good. Oh, one of my favorite flavors of this is the tangerine. It's so it good. Smells, I wouldn't, uh, I'm acting like the camera can smell it, but it actually smells so fresh. Mm -hmm. And if people put this on, I'd probably want to make me smell their armpits so bad. This one is called Cool Cucumber. I like this so much. Yes. And you guys ever do this where you poke the eyes out of it and then you make a face mask out of wet wipes? Oh, so good, so especially you, on a plane. So as you can see, they have all kinds of deodorant products. They got the regular stick, they got the whole body deodorant. So what they make is not just for the armpits, it's for anywhere. And then they also have the deodorant wipes. And the cool thing about it is it's invented by OBGYN. And so you know they deal with dirty, stanky organs all day long. Puss, puss. So the cool thing about it is it's meant for the whole body and it's safe. You could do it right here, the puss, puss here, the puss, puss there, the puss, puss there, and anywhere. You could go from tip of the head down to the toe. And it go like this. Cause my stinkiest place is actually my head. Really? Yeah, it stinks more than anything else. Your scalp? Yeah. Oh, you got oily scalp? I got old Asian man scalp, I think. So this Lumi starter pack you see right here is perfect for new customers. It comes with the solid stick deodorant, the cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like the mini body wash and the deodorant wipes, and free shipping. That's so good. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code OTR at lumipodcast.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumipodcast.com and use the code OTR. I make you hate that shit. <laughs> and <then the> pause. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get what happened? Let me go back. Oh. No, I just dub everything right now, you know. <laughs> it's weird because like growing up, this is this was a part of like Japanese childhood. Like we would yeah. watch it all these not not all the older ones. So this the stuff that you guys are quoting, that's like by that time I was too old. Well like guys that would I would say people in Japan would continue watching it, right? But for me it's like I grew up watching have you heard of Doraemon? Yeah. yeah Shinchan. Those are all kids. Shin Chan is that little kid with the black hair. And then yeah, yeah. It's like fart jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll watch that. Then the American version, they don't show him painting elephant on his dick and running around chasing his friends. Yeah, we're not ready for that kind of humor. Yeah, but then it's, it's edited, hilarious. right? That's Shin Chan. I remember that show. Who is he? I, I've seen that. This little guy. Oh, yeah, oh, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't remember cool. what it was called. Yeah, there's like a lot of kid, like, jokes, new kid jokes, humor. whatever. And then, like, um,. Yeah, I think like at a certain point, it's it, it was back then it was lame that you, oh you're watching anime you're yeah nerd, I heard right? it was mm -hmm. switched around like people always told me that if you watch anime in Japan you're way too nerdy and then here it's like if you read the manga you're nerdy at yeah. that time mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's sure why me and my friends manga, were nerdy. like we yeah. we weren't getting we weren't into that we got into other shit like raving and then drugs and whatever right that's also sick. Fun. <laughs> yeah, it is fun, right? That's a lot of fun. So I think I missed out on that whole thing. Um, and then, like, everybody here is hella into it now. Yeah, yeah. So I know a lot of the kid stuff. Like, the I, yeah, the Miyazaki stuff we grew up on. Mm -hmm. Like, Lapita. Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say that Dragon Ball Z is considered anime? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I always hear, like, a lot of people saying, like, oh, that, and Dragon Ball Z is not anime. So they just saying it's like true. a It literally is hey, Japanese like, animation. <laughs> well, they're saying it's like yeah. the the Taco Bell of Mexican food, kind of. No, it's good, what? dude. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like, absolutely, really like, it. legendary because of the guy that made it, Akira Toriyama. He's, like... He's super. revolutionary. Yeah, yeah. he but changed think, the whole game. You know what it is? That was my favorite. He's, he's basically the OG. I think it's the gateway for Americans. So that's why Pokemon and Dragon Ball are the gateway for Americans. So then they think that it's just low, like it's like, eh. Yeah. Right. Like they don't think it's the peak because they're like, 
oh yeah, that's too mainstream. I know this shit. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, that's want, not true yeah. though. In Japan, it's like, it's the, it's fucking dope. It's legendary. Yeah. It's also super influential for so many other things that came after it. Right, so it's kind of like, it, it, it helped anime kind of walk so then later it could run kind of thing. Because yeah. okay. if you watch it now, it's like pretty dated because like episodes would take like forever to get to like the point. It's like 12 episodes yeah. to like yeah. think about a fight. Yeah. Right, and then like charging up charging takes up, like yeah. three or four episodes. Charging up. Right, like, right. Mm -hmm. But they redid it and they made a new series called Dragon Ball Super, which I Bro, highly recommend. It's fucking sick. fire. The battle you know, against the world of like, the universe. The fights get like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's a complete. Yeah. Do they re they redid the whole an like animation? Maybe? No, it's just a continuation of Dragon Ball Z. So it's oh. like they're all older now and all this stuff. But like, so that's the one to crazy. watch. I yeah, say, I definitely the one to watch. It, yeah. Highly recommend. That was my favorite as a kid. But as a kid, I couldn't even watch the fucking things. I c I couldn't watch Dragon Ball Z because I'd be like, this is taking forever. Cause I, I remember my first introduction was a comic book, like the the, the ones that was backwards, and I was in like second yeah, yeah, grade, yeah. Yeah. and I was I, I was like they have naked bomas in that all the time. <laughs> it was yeah. weird for me to like read from the other side because no one taught me how to read it. And I was going yeah, through. You're yeah. starting from the end. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? You guys just yeah, gotta yeah, go yeah. right to left, top to bottom. No, That's for sure. Right and it was, I remember getting hooked on it, and I loved the lore and the stories and everything. But I never like watched any of the episodes. I just no. watched like the movies every now and then, and then I just was into the show. Honestly, reading it is faster because like you could just speed through. Like, and you have to so, wait for the commercial. Uh, it's the 14 uh, minute mark of the video where we have to start talking about Naruto, though. Like, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a really huge Naruto fan? <laughs> Be denied. Greatness personified. Dude, I okay. never watched one episode of Naruto. You didn't watch. You went raving. That's why. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Could you guys sell me on Naruto? My question is, how did it get so famous in America? Like, I don't think it's as crazy in Japan. Like, it's it's known. I do think it was I a very it, cultural phenomenon that like people like really fell into. Like, like it, it's synonymous with um, so many like straight up black culture. So many people love Naruto. A lot of black yeah, people love Naruto. But what but what happened to where it got into? Um, like hip hop and it like seemed like people just recommended the shit out of it. So it's not it's not like played the, on TV. Like UFC fighters now are rocking it. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. I just think the yeah. characters are like there's so such a variety of characters that are so relatable yeah. that everybody sure. can pick their own favorite. I see. Ninety percent of people who watch Naruto, Naruto is not their favorite character. No. You know uh, what I'm saying? No one likes that guy, dude. <laughs> no, it's all so it's all him. the other guys. It's all the other guys. Yeah, it's the, yeah, the Bruce you know, Lee you looking start dude. Loving him till later, later. Yeah. I gotta right. watch it then. I need to watch it too, because I, I know everyone everyone tells me. And I think my that. favorite thing about Naruto in terms of like what really got me like for real into it is the fact that every bad person, every evil character in each arc, they were all like they weren't just inherently evil. They like came from some their backstory was like something that could help define why they became what they were. And it just made it so much more like the depth was so much greater. There was always like a resolution where Naruto would somehow change them for the better. Rather than just kill them? Yeah, versus just beat them. But there's one character that nobody likes. Who's it? Sakura. Oh. Who's that? Sakura. And why? She's why so does no one like her? She's fucking nothing, bro. In comparison to, yeah, exactly. Wait, what'd you say? Nothing. Even when she gets her, you know, her top tier powers or whatever, she's just still trash. She's in the main team, so Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto, like, they're their team seven, right? And there's like this funny ass meme out there that's like, like team seven, hundred percent power is like all three of them, and then it shows team seven at ninety nine point nine percent power is just Sasuke and Naruto. Oh, she's just not in it. Like, yeah. From what I heard, it's like it's like they're like schools battling each other or something. What's the, so they're all like diff in villages. different villages. So there's like they're from the hidden leaf village, but there's like the hidden sand village. There's like hidden rain village. Different like oh, villages. Okay. Elements. All, I like yeah. gangs, yo. I like when there's like different. You like, you like gangs? Okay, yeah. yeah, you'll like you'll enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I just think there's so much character depth and backstory, yes. and and then like this guy specifically. Well, this is Sasuke, but this guy, his <laughs> brother Itachi, is like. The ultimate character. That's ever. tight. I want to watch it. I want. I like it. Oh. Like this guy is a guy who like kills his entire fucking clan. Whoa. But he's, he's he so does awful. it for the greater good. It's fucked up. So he's like the dark guy. That's hard to justify. Well, yeah. Right now, yeah, yeah. Killing off a whole clan. Story. He yeah. like he walks in when he's because he's a little writing, brother. Man. He walks in when he's a kid and sees him murdering his parents. But it's like for the greater good. It's the hardest thing you ever watched. So but does he resent his brother? Yeah. Does he? Is that later on? Much later. The story, the finding out that he murdered his parents is early, but you don't know why. 
So his his entire thing, the reason why he's so badass and trains so hard is because one day he's like, I'm gonna kill my brother. Oh, that's tight. And, and then the he whole, probably finds out later, wait, it was for good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, I, I love those moments. Yeah, what about what about the Bruce Lee guy? His name is like Rock Lee. Rock Lee. What's, what's his deal? So the reason why he's everybody's Rock favorite Lee. or a lot of people's favorite is because he doesn't have ninjutsu powers. Yeah. He can't do all like the cool fucking like, stuff. Is it because he's Chinese? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's because of his hair, dude. <laughs> but but his taijutsu, his actual just physical fighting, is like bar none. So he's the best. So like they, they they first expose every character's weakness and they highlight it and they make fun of it and like all this stuff. But it's only like through enduring through the weakness that you find a character's real strength. And I think that's why it's so relatable yeah. and lovable. Oh. People end up like really, really like finding their favorite character. Like my favorite character is Jiraiya. He's called the pervy sage. He's just this fucking <laughs> pervert. Yeah, that's tight. Who, who that's ends fine. up being the teacher of Naruto and he never becomes like the golden hero he never becomes like the Hokage which is the, the leader even though he's powerful enough he's the master Roshi yeah he just he sacrifice no but he sacrifices <laughs> himself just to I'm make so sure dirty. that like the, the village and everything like succeeds it's it's yeah. crazy that's a good reference how many episodes is Naruto like 300 300 oh there's only 300 well, like the first one I don't remember it's like 150 or something shonen jump and then like there's a three-year gap where they get older which was so fun because you get older too. So like the, oh. the everything, the theme of it becomes more mature, mm. and like the missions become way crazier and stuff like that. And then like that's another like, it's called not a ship Dude, to to nail that timing with your age must feel like pretty fucking bad. That's like Harry Potter, huh? <laughs> like if I did it now, I'd be like, oh, I'm 43. Oh, look the same. <laughs> you know the similar thing with One Piece is I heard the creator was like 18 when he came out with like the whole One Piece thing, and so he was only 18. Yeah, so, yeah. Like all of That's his wild. his like. I think first few seasons, first four seasons or something, is like when he was young, and then there was like a big break, and then they came out with the newer, and the rest of the one piece. Mm. Oh wait, wait, the characters eighteen or the oh, creator? Right, the creator. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's and crazy. so so later on, his his like rest of the anime arcs get way more mature because he grows up as like a person. Wow, wow. Damn, that's pretty dope. That's, that's, pretty that's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> that's awesome. But that's why all these shows have such a massive fan base, and I feel like uh, like I'm not a part. Of it because I always see everyone with the fucking merch and the well, cool shirts. And the I'm good like, news is you can yeah, start watching it anytime. Dude. You're not alone. <laughs> nah, dude, people, you can still start. And I want to, I want to get into it, but it's fun. You want to feel included? I want to feel included. I want to feel yeah, inclusive. Yeah, yeah. What's, What's your time? What's yours? <laughs> is yours Naruto? She got a no. So I, I probably have only watched maybe five. Uh, Naruto. Um, Parasite, Death Note. Death, Death Note. Note. Death Note is my Death favorite. Is Death Note is a top three. Yeah. God yeah, so damn. For me, I would put Death Note, Naruto. They're kind of side okay. by side for me, neck okay. and neck. Um, Kakaguri? Is that how you say it? Is it, it's oh, a is it love? One? I know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Kake. Fuck yeah, Kakeguru or some shit. Yeah, something yeah. like that. It's um, with the. It's like you like mind games. Like you correct. like. Yeah. So oh, yeah. No, um, that one. So yeah, I would. I would say those. <laughs> You'll probably like Love Is War. It's a, like a, a cuter, like romantic version of that style of like there's they're battling in their heads. Mm. Yeah. And then Attack on Titan. Oh, that's um, a, yeah. Attack on Titan was that. a bummer, that one's really dude. Good. That show was a bummer. That it's really good, I really just but started then, yeah. getting into that one. I tried to get into it and I couldn't. It made me sad. Uh, it's like, his mom, dramatic. dude. Yeah. Do you guys watch uh, One Punch Man? I I love love that's that's, oh, that's man. one of my favorites. Because everyone keeps telling me you gotta watch it's, That's one a satire. It's, it's also really it's also an anime it's lover's funny. anime. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Wait, What's you that? never saw Perfect Blue? Mm -mm. That's your shit. That's gonna be Perfect your shit. Blue. One million percent. Why? Because it's it's not only a mind game anime, but it's a reference point for many of today's directors. Like Ooh. interesting. In, not even in anime, but just Scorsese. Like oh. just people. Mm. Wow. Like real directors. Why, why is that? It had so many ideas cinematically that get used, that get manifested into the physical world because the guy that made create, uh, Perfect Blue, he, he created it like it was shot with a camera. So it's a little perspective. That's what a lot of like um, animes are shot like if they were actually yeah. filmed like in person. Like Akira. Mm -hmm. Akira was done. Like Akira that. was a, a good one like that. Yeah. Ghost in the Shell was like that too a little bit. Yeah. But it's like Perfect Blue is like worshipped by like directors and shit because oh. it's, it's so fucking far ahead of its time. And it's a trip and it gets jacked every year for another movie. Like people steal the shit Ooh. out of that movie. Yeah, I like how they take a lot of like tropes you would expect, like oh people go on adventure, they fight for whatever, but then they ha always have this twist to it, 
And that's like my favorite thing about it. And it never, you never run out of content to watch, dude. Honorable mentions, Initial D. Oh, yeah. Right. How could you Initial not? Yeah. Veroni Kenshin and Berserk. Berserk's, Berserk's good. Did you guys ever get into Bleach? My brother got into that. I tried. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Why? I, wish I don't know. I just, it didn't whack? grab me. I just. Yeah. Uh, What's your take, Anthony Lee? It might just be a subjective thing, like you get into. Some things are a slow build. You need to get through like fucking 10 episodes before. Takes work. Yeah. Yeah. But I also yeah. didn't get into Dragon Ball Z either. Like, I yeah. feel like Dragon Ball Z and Bleach were kind of like. Do you guys really watch not. dubbed or do you watch no. subtitles? Oh, no, do that. That. It depends. Like, Naruto. there's some series like City Hunter where dubbed is actually really funny. Really? Because uh, they got good actors <laughs> and it's like goofy as hell. And the way that they try to uh, translate the Japanese cultural references is also kind of interesting. Because there's some shit that doesn't have an English equivalent, yeah. but they make one and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> You guys want to know like some modern animes where it doesn't take any work to get into like you watch it first episode and you're like oh, yeah. There's yeah. Uh, one called Jujutsu Kaisen that's Hell like, yeah. super good. See the reaction right there. Season 2 just came out but I'm waiting for it to all Dude, finish before I can good. watch it. I'm, I'm just waiting for all the episodes <laughs> to come out so, so I can just binge it. It's that good. I heard that name. It's it's just like super good animation. Um, the story is really cool. And it's very, it's got very very good swag. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, who, it's, who are it's like the modern. characters in it? Uh, there's this guy that's like, I think his name is Yuji Itadori, and his, he's just already super strong high school kid, and then he joins this ghost club, ghost hunting club. Oh. And then later on, like, some real shit happens where there's actual, like... You were telling me about this. Yeah, there's, like, it's curses cool. and stuff, and then he learns right. how to, like, like build this new power, like, how to control curses and stuff. It's, it's crazy. Right, but yeah, ghost? there's oh that. God. There's a brand new one that just ghost? came out called Zom 100. You should watch that one. Zom 100? Yeah, Zom 100. It's a, it's a zombie anime, but, like, the animation's beautiful. It's super good. Oh, it did you watch High School of the Dead? I did. I did. I didn't finish it, though, but... Well, neither did the guy who made it. Oh. Hey, he passed away. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <my> <laughs> 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 Turn the cameras off now? <laughs> but definitely watch those.